Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come up with a problem number one from Physica round two. So it is a strain sinking paraboloid and guys liking, sharing, subscribing is love. So this problem is very amazing and uh, it is perfect candidate for J advanced type of exam. So here is the problem statement. A solid paraboloidal uh, uh, paraboloid of base radius R0 and height H0 is having uniform volume mass density of uh, Rho S is inverted and placed just above the surface as shown of a liquid having volume mass density of Rho L. When paraboloid is released from rest, it has been observed that when it uh, becomes completely submerged in the liquid, the paraboloid comes to rest again. What is the ratio of Rho L by Rho S for such a paraboloid? And there exists uniform gravity of G. Assume that the liquid body is very large so that liquid level is not changing as the par paraboloid enters into the liquid. So here this is the situation. From this situation this paraboloid is released from rest and it is under gravity. And finally it has been observed when it is just sinking inside this liquid it comes to rest again. Alright, uh, so there is a fun fact in this uh, problem and the key was 3. Uh, that uh, this phenomenon is true for all paraboloids irrespective of their dimensions that means it doesn't matter what is the radius and what is the height as long as density ratio is maintained between uh, this uh, solid and uh, liquid density so this is the very amazing part so let's discuss here uh, so let's assume this uh, paraboloid uh, is generated from a parabola y is equal to ax square so if I substitute uh, this y value as h and a value as uh, uh, this x value as r, I am going to get this uh, constant a. So you can see here a is uh, h y r square. So this parabola equation is known to us and that is y is equal to h by r square into x square. Now this is also a pretty standard result and uh, I'll request everyone to remember this because it's a very handy result. Volume of paraboloid of height h and radius r, <coughs> it is a half pi r square h. It is quite similar to the cone uh, formula but in case of uh, cone it is 1 by 3 and uh, you can see uh, from here itself you can uh, guess. So this volume will be more than uh, cone volume. So and it's easy to remember half pi r square h so once this parabola uh, paraboloid enters into the liquid there will be the buoyancy acting on this and there will be its weight and it will be moving with the, some acceleration of a downwards and uh, let's say this uh, instantaneous length here which is inside the liquid is y so i can write the velocity of paraboloidal uh, paraboloid at this moment as dy by dt so here force equation will become mg minus buoyancy which is rho liquid into volume of solid inside into g so i'm saying this length is x and this length is y here and that is equal to m dv by dt now i can write this dv by dt as i'll divide it, uh, this by m m of uh, this entire solid all right so that will become g minus uh, this buoyancy into g divided by and this will be the mass m which is rho solid pi r square h by 2 into g so you can see here on uh, simplifying i'm getting g minus uh, rho l by rho s x square by r square g y by h all right uh, now i can uh, just uh, eliminate this part i can convert entire uh, equation in y so i'm substituting the value of uh, this x square in terms of y by using this uh, equation of paraboloid here all right so and uh, this acceleration dv by dt i'll keep it as v dv by dy and a uh, lot of uh, steps are involved in this line so take care of this now this part will become v dv by dy and here we will get minus uh, g minus g times rho l by rho s h square y square now i'll take this dy this side and integrate since velocity goes from 0 to 0 right initial velocity is 0 and finally again it comes to rest y value goes from 0 to capital h minus g rho l by h square rho s will be outside the integral because it's constant and we'll be having here the y square dy so 0 to h now you can see here we will get here h cube by 3 and this h square will go 
so we are going to get 0 is equal to gh minus g rho l by 3 rho s times h so g gets cancelled h gets cancelled and a very nice answer we are going to get from here that rho l by rho s is 3 this is going to be the final answer for this problem and uh, this paraboloid will keep oscillating between these two extreme positions which i have shown here so i think you can uh, understand so it's a very strange pop property of this paraboloid that irrespective of its size it will uh, keep oscillating uh, like this and guys there is another uh, announcement here that uh, from 13 september onwards uh, unacademy subscription is reducing its uh, uh, prices so there are some discounted prices it will be 10 percent off and if you are using uh, the teacher's code in my case it is uh, nathan sir it's up to you uh, you can get additional 10 percent off uh, in your subscription so it will be valid for uh, a week i think right so those who are interested they can uh, go for it so that's it guys in this video i hope you have uh, learned something new and uh, some new property of uh, paraboloid has come in front of you if that is the case please uh, leave a like share this video with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem thank you thanks for watching it